One dead, several injured in Washington Boulevard collision. At least one person is dead and several others have been left nursing injuries they sustained in a collision along Washington Boulevard on Tuesday morning. According to the St. Andrews South Police, the accident happened at about 8.30 a.m. when a white Toyota Costa bus reportedly traveling at high speed crashed into the rear of a truck in the vicinity of Corville Gardens. Several persons aboard were rushed to hospital, many of whom are said to be nursing serious injuries. Reporters understand that one man has since succumbed to his injuries. Deputy Superintendent of Police Ron Ridge told reporters that the bus has been written off, indicating that this was his first time witnessing a road crash of this magnitude. DSP Ritchie urged motorists to take more precautions when traversing the nation's roads. I've never seen anything like this in my life in the constable force. One of the things we have to take into consideration is the clearest maneuvering of public thoroughfares by our motorists. They are not driving with due care, and it is just careless driving that resulted in this particular incident this morning, he stated, urging motorists to take more care on the roads. I am appealing to the motoring public to be cautious on our thoroughfares and be careful when they are driving and look out for the safety of others, he continued. The intention is to arrive at your destination alive. Investigation still ongoing in Medidic's disappearance. Almost four months after skeletal remains believed to be those of missing dancer artist medic was discovered in a cane field in Wallen, St. Catherine, Deputy Commissioner of Police Fitzbailey says investigations are ongoing to determine the true identity and resolve the case. I just want to update the public that the investigation is actively being pursued. Some items were submitted to the lab and we are awaiting the results while we continue to pursue the investigation. DCP Bailey was speaking at a criminal investigations branch headquarters on Monday. Bailey added that investigators remain committed to cracking the case, which gained national attention back in August 2023 when the artist disappeared. We are confident that we'll ultimately bring this investigation to a closure. So I just want to bring some sense of consolation to our reassurance to the family and to the public that the investigation is actively being pursued, Bailey added. According to the police, 29-year-old medic, given name Stephanie Williams, reported left her home on Red Hills Road on August 24, 2023. She has not been heard from since. The entertainer's mother, Millicent McCurdy, offered up one million reward for information that would lead to the recovery of her daughter, but that has not been materialized. Medic is best known for songs such as Money Feelings and her green catalogue of collaborations such as Overcome, featuring Shane O and Boss Level, featuring Javelanti. JTA condemns attack on teacher at Fair Technical. President of the Jamaica Teachers Association, JTA Leighton Johnson, has condemned last week's attack on a teacher by a parent at Fair Technical High School, saying the incident is an indicator that the nation has lost its way. Schools are spaces that promote order and discipline, respect and tolerance, and notwithstanding the negative publicity brought on to our schools by some students and parents, Schools still remain beacons of hope. Therefore, as a nation, we must protect this school as arguably the last most stable socializing agency left within our society, stated the JTA president in an audio release on Sunday. For this reason, Johnson is encouraging parents to get back to the place where strong partnership and relationships are forged with school. We need parents to desist from making this parent and, in many instances, there are getting remarks about our schools in the presence of their children, urged Johnson. The JTA president said parents should lead by example and demonstrate to their children how conflict can be resolved amicably without resorting to violence. And of course, this is modeling acceptable behavior patterns in resolving issues at the school level, he further stated. The JTA president said his association is once again making the urgent call for parents to support schools in reinforcing positive character, based values and attitudes that schools are promoting. Parents need this partnership and we need you to be on board with us. We must be speaking the same language. We must be speaking in one voice. Our children are looking to us to be the examples so that they can grow up in a world where they can be decent men and women who understand how to deal with conflicts amicably as they grow, argued Johnson.
Birchell's comments on Tufton, getting hospital bed were disgraceful, Volga stated G2K. The Jamaica Labour Party's JLP Young Professional Arm, Generation 2000 G2K, is refuting the suggestion by a PNP representative that Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton received preferential treatment at the University Hospital of the West Indies. Dr. Tufton was injured on Sunday after he was reported the heat off his bicycle by a motor vehicle driven by a popular dancehall artist. It was initially reported that he suffered a broken wrist. However, in a G2K release on Monday, the group said the minister also suffered a broken leg, a hairline fracture on his nose, and a wound on his forehead. Pointing out that Dr. Tufton got a hospital bed immediately after the bicycle accident, PNP representative from St. James Southern, Nikisha Burchell, hit out at what she argued was a double standard in the healthcare system. Unrealized, said the Minister of Health, fell off in bicycle and broke him risk, and two twos him in a comfortable bed in a hospital. How many have relatives who have to sit on hospital chair for days with serious conditions? She asked PNP supporters at the party's Knockpatrick Divisional Conference at May Day High on Sunday. The health minister bypassed the chair, then Kerem Goliadung in a hospital bed, and people still sit down and put up one chair for dead, added Birchell. Responding to what was described as false and vulgar accusations, G2K President Kerr urged the PNP to desist from using Tufton's injury to his limbs and hell to score political points. It is really unbecoming, disgraceful and vulgar of Miss Birchell to attempt to exploit Minister Tufton's injuries for political mileage. The fact is, at least three high-profile members of the PNP have interacted with the healthcare system recently and they were treated fairly and with decency by the Jamaica Labour Party because we are of the view that human beings' health situation should not be exploited for political gain, we believe in decency, Kerr stated. G2K said the minister was assessed based on the charity system used to assess all patients and he was treated accordingly. It noted that the minister's search was also delayed for several hours because other patients were given priority. Additionally, Kerr said the government has demonstrated its sensitivity to the need for more beds across the healthcare system and has made investment to expand, rehabilitate and build new facilities to achieve this objective. Teen allegedly breaks into Portland House, takes over $100,000. A man who allegedly broke into a house through a bathroom window and stole goods and cash amounting to over $100,000 in Buff Bay, Portland on Tuesday, May 28, has been charged. Charged with house breaking and larceny is 19-year-old Warren Forbes of Pleasant Hill in Anato Bay, St. Mary. According to the police, about 8 a.m., a woman secured a locker house in Buff Bay in Portland and left for work. Upon her return, the evening she realized that her house had been broken into. The police said further checks reveal that someone had gained entry through her bathroom window and stole $23,000 in cash, two Adidas slippers valued at US $35 each, and one black HP laptop and charger valued at $79,000. The police said an investigation led to Forbes being taken into custody and subsequently charged. He will answer to his charges in court at a later date. Remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell for daily updates.